I'm here at the McKenzie Basin, about to head to, about to go to. I'm here at the McKenzie Basin, about to go to. Hi, I'm Byron. <laughs> I'm Byron. That's right. I'm here at McKenzie Basin, about to embark on an adjourn. <laughs> I'm here at the McKenzie Basin on my way to Auraki Mount Cook National Park. I'm going to show you some fantastic photography locations. Follow me. Let's go. Oh, bugger. Ah, gone the wrong way. Shit on it. this way. Here we go. Let's go! So I'm here at the most beautiful place in New Zealand, Auraki Mount Cook National Park. We're just down at Glen Tanner, and look at the view. It is spectacular. So I'm looking forward to a good day of photography. We're heading that way, right there. Let's go. Here I am, at the bottom of the Hooker Lake, looking right up at the big cloud piercer, Mount Cook. We're here in the afternoon, and so we've got this beautiful golden light just lighting the side of Mount Cook there, and the neighbouring peaks, and you couldn't ask for better. So what I've been doing is I've been walking around here, taking a few shots, I've been playing around with a circular polarizer. I've been playing around with an ND graduated filter, and my little stopper, straight shots of Mount Cook and then I've been taking a couple of low shots with a foreground of rocks leading the way up to Mount Cook and I'm pretty happy with the results. Gee that's looking good. That's looking spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. 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 So I think now time for a bit of a coffee, a bit of a sit down and a bit of a relax because these digits here are freezing. So is my nose, so are my ears. Talk soon. stress enough how beautiful New Zealand is. I just can't. It's amazing. One of my favourite places in the world. So we're about a K and a half out of Mount Cook Village and probably about 500 metres outside Glen Tanner Station and the stream is coming down from the edge of the lake and leading straight up to Mount Cook. And it's looking pretty good. The Mount Cook Araki National Park area is famous for amazing cloud um, formations and amazing sunsets and so hopefully today I'm going to be lucky. Now what I've got here is a six stop ND filter, the little stopper and the reason I've got that on is because I want a bit of cloud movement and a little bit of wispy cloud action. Then I've got the graduated uh, six stop ND filter and what that is doing is that is balancing out the foreground which is quite dark at the moment and the sky which is a lot lighter and then I've got my polarizer on my circular polarizer just to make the the back of the sky pop and also get rid of a lot of the um, highlights that are sitting in the river in the foreground now all I have to do is wait for that sky to become crimson red or orange a typical Auraki Mount Cook sunset 
all we have to do now is wait. not good on the pens. Okay. After all the running around that photographers do, it takes a bit of practice to remind yourself that some of the best locations and some of the best scenery and some of the best compositions are right outside your front door. So today I've been running around everywhere trying to get the perfect shot, just trying to make it up as I go when the light's perfect and what a lot of photographers do is they start to get a bit anxious about getting to a location. What have I missed? What, uh, where should I be? What should I be doing? And this is exactly what's happened to me today. I've been running around trying to find the perfect shot and in the afternoon after a cup of tea, a bit of a sit down, turned around to see one of the most beautiful parts of the Aoraki National Park. Right here, two minutes away from the camper van. Gee. Okay, this may look a little bit funny, but uh, I'm down here at the lakefront and there is absolutely nothing there except for possibly that rock. Now, what my goal here is, is to capture the essence of nothing. So I'm going to be focusing out into the ripples, outwards, and get a nice colour gradient there. So the simple way that I'm doing that is I've got my polarizer on just to sort of mute out the colours of the highlights from from the sun or from the light that's coming in from the way that the camera's pointing. And then I've got my 70 to 200 on and I'm just playing with a, a big depth of field, F13, and just trying to capture some of those ripples just to give it some kind of color and texture and then bleed it out into the infinity focus until you can't see it anymore so that's what I'm trying to do and sometimes it's all about waiting look at those birds up there can you see them no you can't so sometimes it's all about waiting and waiting for the right light in situations like that or the right flavor here comes a bird here comes a bird Completely missed it. Completely missed it. That's a bit of a bummer. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to do here. And I know this is landscape country where you've got Mount Cook here, you've got Multibrun, you've got the Nuns Vale. Here comes another one. Did I catch it? Did I catch it? No, I didn't. It's all a learning process, I tell you that. So the sun's just come out to play and it's piercing through the clouds uh, there. And so what we're getting is a lot of mist coming up from the lake and we've got the sun peeking through the clouds and trying to make an appearance. And we've also got the mountains about to come into range here. So hopefully once that cloud blows off, <laughs> once, that, once that cloud breaks up, burns off, we might get a good shot of Mount Cook in that direction there. So fingers crossed, time to just enjoy the scenery and take some minimalist exposures.
So that just about sums up my trip. Thanks for coming on this journey with me to Araki National Park in Canterbury. If you like what I've done, please like and please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all soon. I'm out for now. Hmm.